Welcome to Sean's View Entertainment on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with the latest backstage rumors, news, and developments. The significant details coming in concerning the WWE Draft, the Raw ratings, the viewership, and the Twitter Raw rankings. Monday's Raw ranked number two among series and specials for the night, and Nielsen's Twitter TV ratings behind The Bachelor. As noted, Nielsen recently confirmed to us that they have changed the way that the Twitter ratings are being released as unique audiences will no longer be included. The weekly list will now include and be ranked by tweet volume. Raw had 138,000 tweets with uh, 33,000 unique, unique authors. This is down from last week's show, which had 198,000 tweets with 43,000 unique authors. Ladies and gentlemen, also along with this update, Raw with the club versus the WWE Tag Team Champions, The New Day, in a six-man main event, drew 3.255 million viewers. This is up from last week's 3.229 million viewers from the Memorial Day episode. No shock there. For this week's show, the first hour drew 3.371 million viewers. The second hour drew 3.490 million viewers. The final hour drew 2.903 million viewers. Raw was number three on cable for the night in viewership. And also on the WWE brand split, ladies and gentlemen. According to sources, the WWE brand split will uh, improve WWE's bottom line. The brand split could help attract older fans who no longer watch WWE and reignite excitement in the brand for current fans of the WWE universe. Well, I'll tell you what, there wasn't a whole hell of a lot of anticipation and, and ignition and, and, and fire last night with Monday Night Raw. There was not an attraction last night to Monday Night Raw. And if WWE keeps going in that direction, I don't know how live SmackDown is going to be. I don't know how this draft is going to play out. But you know what? We're going to need something like this to change up the product. Because it's so steel, it's so mediocre, it's so low-keyed that it's absolutely ridiculous. I didn't think that the WWE could come this low. But hey, congratulations that the WWE have upped the ratings. But not by much. Not by much. I mean, the show could be so much better. The writing is on the wall, ladies and gentlemen. But the WWE feels like, well, you know what? No one's breathing down our back. No competition. But the USA Network is starting to step in and say, listen... We want SmackDown to go live. We want the show to be improved. You know, improved. You know, m you know, make the, the the right advances and implement the changes that need to be done. So you know what? Here's the update on Raw. Yeah, but you know, just because uh, last week's show was you know Memorial Day and you had the finals of this show of this game and that, you should always put your best foot forward because you never know. You shouldn't just give give out a mediocre product. And, t and last night's Raw, in my opinion was just as bad as the Raw before that. Ladies and gentlemen, your comments, your opinion, Sean and Jim will be here all day long to provide you with the news, rumors, headlines, working around the clock to keep you in the know. Thank you for watching Sean's View Entertainment. Subscribe.